Breeding is the process of obtaining eggs from two parent Pokemon to create a child Pokemon. Most often, breeding is done to obtain certain traits, such as natures, abilities, stats, or moves. However, for this video, we're going to keep things simple by just going through the steps to get and hatch an egg. In general, there are five steps, the first of which is to pick your target. What Pokemon do you want to come out of the egg? Step two, obtain a parent of your target's evolutionary line. Step three, obtain a compatible partner for your parent Pokemon. Step four, breed the couple from step two and three. And finally, step five, hatch the egg. Be aware that most Pokemon are obtainable via breeding. However, there do exist some that are not mostly legendaries, mythicals, and the paradoxes. Every unbreedable Pokemon that appears naturally in Scarlet and Violet are on screen now. So if you see one you wanted to breed, I'm sorry, but they are not capable of it. Also note that these mons, classified as baby Pokemon, can hatch from eggs, but cannot breed. For example, I can get a Pichu from an egg. However, that Pichu cannot give me more Pichu eggs. I'd have to evolve it up to either Pikachu or Raichu for it to give me more eggs. For this video, I'll be breeding a Zorua. With the target selected, we now need to find a parent in its evolutionary line. To do this, you can use your Pokedex, if you've seen the Pokemon before, to find its habitat. If you haven't seen one before, I'd recommend looking online at sites such as Therabee.net or PokemonDB.net to see where to find one. In my case, Zoroa are found around the dolly, disguised as other Pokemon. After a few minutes, I managed to get one, which is male. In general, it's best to get a female of your target if possible, as Pokemon inherit the species of the mother Pokemon. So I continue searching to catch a female one to be my parent. If the Pokemon you want is genderless or only male, like all of the Pokemon on screen now, you won't be able to get a female as they don't exist. In that case, catch the male or genderless Pokemon and then move to step 3. With a parent Pokemon acquired, we now need a partner for it. If the Pokemon has two genders, like my Zoroa, you can catch one of each to be your pair as I have here. If your target is genderless or male only, then you'll need to breed with a ditto, which just so happened to also be beside Medali, disguised as other Pokemon. To see if a Pokemon is a ditto, you can target them with the ZL button to see its name tag. When the tag says ditto, engage it in battle and it will reveal itself to you. Ditto can breed with all breeding capable Pokemon, making it the number one choice for a breeding partner in most cases. You can also breed Pokemon of other species with your parents if they share an egg group. Egg groups are a little more complex to explain, so I won't go over them in this video. For the most simple version of breeding, using either Ditto or the male version of a Pokemon in your target's evolutionary line is recommended. We now have the parents we want to breed together, time to actually breed them. In Scarlet and Violet, this is done by putting the two parents into your party and removing all of the other Pokemon. You'll then want to locate a place to set up a picnic. I usually picnic right outside of Alfernada, but you can go wherever the game will allow you to set up the table. Then position yourself at the end of the table where there's a little basket and just wait. After a few minutes pass, check the basket with the A button to see if an egg has appeared. If not, continue waiting. It can take a while for Pokemon to give eggs without the use of egg power, so if you find it's not giving you one and are willing to spend a bit, you can come to this restaurant in Alvernada to buy egg power. Or you can make your own egg power using this sandwich. Once you obtain the number of eggs you want, leave the picnic. Open your boxes and add the egg to your party. To hatch it, you'll simply walk around for a little while. If you have a Pokemon with Flame Body, Magma Armor, or Steam Engine, you can have the time it takes to hatch your eggs by putting them in your party as you walk. I typically ride around the main street of Alfernada and up this ramp when I'm hatching eggs. And voila, 
you've successfully bred a Pokemon. This is just the very basics. If you wish to know more about the things you can affect via breeding, I'm making more guides that go over every aspect of breeding Pokemon in these games. When they're all done, a playlist will be on this end screen. Until then, it'll show the video YouTube recommends you watch next. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a lovely day.